Hello and welcome to Totally Awesome Outdoors and this is Bushcraft Camp Update 9. Those of you that are new to the channel, I've been given permission in the woodland and I've basically built myself a little camp um, just out of dead wood that I've found around the area that I'm in which has plenty of deadfall so don't worry about me killing live trees. Um, it's been a bit of fun, I'm not a bushcraft expert, I say that in my other videos. <clears throat> I'm just out here in the woods trying to teach myself bushcraft really and learn new skills along the way and hopefully um, try and get them across in videos to you guys as well so that knowledge isn't lost. Um, there's been quite a bit of change to the camp and I'm basically going to grab the camera now and just take you around and just show you the new changes that I've done. Okay so probably the biggest change that I've done is actually my main shelter. I've completely revamped it, started from scratch. Um, originally I had a ridge pole going this way, you'll see in the previous camp update videos and it was kind of falling down there, it was all sagging and it wasn't looking right. So this one's not complete but it is uh, the, the skeletons there and you can get the idea. This is hopefully going to be my primary shelter uh, but my other one is actually really good so I'm not sure which one yet to make the primary shelter. But all I've done is just lashed on a couple of logs under here, some sort of big long logs, two long logs there and the reason I've got two going onto my wall is that actually I now have an overlap with this tarp which obviously I need to pull forward and organise uh, but I then have an overlap which means that when I do put a raised bed under there you'll be, I'll be completely protected from the rain and I'm going to obviously I've built another wall here which just blocks in the side there but also as I go to put the uh, debris on there and all the dead leaves and things like that to build it up I can just use that wall that side wall to help build that those layers up of dead leaves and things like that bracken and it just builds it up and it keeps it all on top of my shelter here uh, yeah this is the cooking crane that i built in the previous camp update video the oars crane and i showed you how i built that and that's my fire bit there again in one of the previous camp update videos you can watch how i built that and this actually just swings on a pivots on an axis like this so i can swing it out the way nice and easily and then i've got clear room to walk through or if I need to move something off the fire, I can just move this back across here. It also goes the other way as well. And if I need to, you know, if the flame's going to one side, I can just move this stick to wherever I want. I can hang a couple of sticks up there and boil a couple of uh, billy cans of water or something like that, or maybe one for water and one for sauce, if I was putting sauce on something. I believe actually the, this was the previous camp update video, which was the raised bed. The cooking crane was the one before that. They're all, all the links to these videos are in the description. But that's my raised bed. I will perhaps probably raise it up again a little bit more. But the more I raise it, the less headroom I get as well. Um, but that's something, a project to do maybe later on. Again, with this shelter, similar to the other shelter, I've got three logs, I think, this time, going across underneath this tarp from wall to wall the other side. And I've just used this uh, other piece of tarp to pull over and I'll pinch it down with a few more logs. And as you can see, there's an overlap from here down to there, so there is actually no way that rain is going to get on me thanks to this overlap there. So I don't need to worry about getting rained on at night. So I am actually lying in the shelter now, and there you go, you can see the overlap where the tarp will keep me dry. And plenty of room. I'm only small anyway, but I've got lots of room here, lots of headroom as well. And I'm going to keep nice and dry with that tarp. This is basically, this was a bit of a spur of the moment thing, this contraption here. Uh, the plan was to actually build a kind of log store. One of you guys suggested in the comments previously in the, one of the old Camp Update videos, you need to build a little log store so you can keep your logs dry. So I was thinking about it and I didn't want to, I wanted to kind of make the most of the space I have here at camp. So originally I wanted the log store outside so that I would have space in here. But then I figured actually I could get the best of both worlds and have the log store out there and then still have a dry storing space here. And the way that this actually works is because they're quite heavy, they're overlapping a lot this end, they were lifting up this end, so I just pinched them and lashed them in here with uh, another log just across there to stop that. I do have more to do on this, very similar to the other side in that corner, and just get a horizontal log under there, another on top, and just pinch it all closed. And then I'll probably close in the side, close in the other side, and that will be my log store, and everything will keep nice and dry underneath there. Another addition to the camp uh, is the side walls which I built on my secondary shelter and you can see those just here, they just carry on, rather than uh, putting double logs in these are just single logs all the way around and I've still got um, foliage and things like that to build up dead fall and everything like that to put lots of dead bracken, lots of dead leaves up over this but these side walls the way, the reason I built them like that is because they will help to keep all that dead leaves and everything like that, it keeps it all in place. 
here's the other side wall that I built again it's just mirroring the other one it keeps the shelter in all enclosed mainly to keep my dog from wandering out because I need this whole camp to be completely sealed so that he doesn't wander out because he's only a puppy this is the camp from this angle and actually you can see that it's almost all enclosed that is my entrance over there where I am going to build something to stop the dog getting out but it's pretty much all this section is enclosed and this shelter hopefully you will agree is much better than my previous shelter that I had there thank you very much for watching the camp update uh, 9 it's been a real good adventure this I've really enjoyed it and I've had incredible feedback from you guys as I say I'm just having a bit of fun out here in the woods I come here when I can on weekends and just I'm basically setting this the idea was that I could set this camp up so that I have an area that I can go to to then practice my bushcraft but I've learnt the bushcraft along the way uh, but the idea is this camp is just somewhere where I can come it's peaceful it's out the way it's away from people and I can practice bushcraft and just learn new skills obviously you can just go out in the woods and do that or you can even do it in your back garden but this is just something almost like a little project really that I've wanted to do and um, I just basically recorded each part that I've done on the journey so that you guys can um, join in along the way and it's been great to have your input a lot of you have given some suggestions uh, to what you would add to the camp but I'd just like to say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed to the channel uh, please give the video a thumbs up uh, share it with your friends and things like that and I'll see you soon for the next camp update video